Hello, hello, how are you? This is Jelly Bling, and today's project is a shaker card. How long has it been since you've made a shaker card? Is that fun? Okay, I know this card is a little bit excessive, and there's a lot of sparkle and gold and shiny on here, but somehow I'm just loving it. Oh, notice the little flowers. See how they're kind of all curled up? So we'll be using Thoughtful Expressions Bundle. So it includes a stamp set and the dies. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so oh, I have to give credit to Brie Kathleen. I saw this on Demonstrator Planning Place and she made a card somewhat similar using a different stamp set. I think she used the Hummingbird, um, but I turned it into a shaker card, but the inspiration came from Brie. Kathleen, and thank you, Brie Kathleen, for sharing. We will be using a chopstick, gold paper, stampin' paper, um, embossing folder, foam adhesive strips. Are you like, what is that? Those are in the catalog and they're perfect for shaker cards. And I have a few tips on using these, so we'll use these. Here's the papers. Scooch these over. Oh, there's that convenient lip right there. Convenient for scoring, not convenient for unloading the papers. Okay, what else? We'll do that in a minute. Oh, and this is in the catalog. So in the catalog on page 61, you can get the product suite. The product suite has one item number for everything on this page, and they're all listed right here. Sometimes it's up to five different items. And those are the shaker card pieces, and they're great using just for elements on your card, a little bit of sparkle. Then of course there's the bundle. But look at all the great ideas. And these too, these are beautiful. Okay, let's get started. So um, I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog, and my blog is jellybling.com. So I'm gonna score this at five and a half, and four and a quarter. Okay, we are done with the paper trimmer cutter score. Lovely tool. I love that. And fold this in half. And then this little piece is what kind of pops up a little bit. But we'll do that here in just a minute. Okay. Let's see, this is for the front. This is for the inside. And you notice that I'm using the gold foil, which is lovely, a little expensive. So on the inside, I'm using wild wheat. And because you see just a little bit, I'm pretending like it's the gold foil. So that's gonna go on the inside. We'll do chopstick in a minute. Um, this paper is for all of these lovely pieces. Well, here, oh, look at this bird. Okay, so whenever you're trying to color anything, do you go online to look up or to Google how do I color stuff? So that bird right there, I just Googled, how do I color a hummingbird? And that one came up and this is Amazon. Oh, have you ever tried diamond painting? If you're a stamper, if you like doing like little things, just a little bit at a time, kind of tedious, but it has a big wow factor. Diamond painting, it's, that's a whole different topic. So that's where I got the idea for this bird, which I like. But the first Google search, I came up with this bird. Now that's an exciting bird. But when you put that bird on here, that's just a little bit too exciting. That's, I like this one better. Anyhow, so you could search how to find birds to color. So we're going to use this one, two of that, two of these little leaves, two of the flower bunches, and two of this solid double leaf. So I'm going to set these off to the side, cut them in just a minute, but only one of the big flower. So it's gonna be one of the big flower, 
two flowers, two leaves, two double leaves, two of everything, just one of the flower. And I'll pull those out here in just a minute. Okay, we're, let's, let's get things started here. Okay, this needs this shape, which is gonna be for the shaker window. So let me cut that out. Okay, and this piece just gets put into your pile for when you need it. And this piece is going here. Um, it's probably hard to notice, but there's a little bit of texture on um, from an embossing folder on the vanilla pieces. And that is Elegant Eucalyptus. This embossing folder, it comes in a two pack, is just so beautiful. I wish I used it more just because it's so pretty. So I could strategically, looking at this one, I know the knot is gonna be right in the front and you really don't see very much of it. So run that through. So now there's just a little texture on there. Okay. And then, now that this is cut, I could run this piece through. So I'm strategically going to think about where, like this is a long bunch, because I want, I want it to kind of show, because it's just so pretty. There, now this one's going to show, and that one. And make sure to get the top into the embossing folder, otherwise you'll have nothing up there. Okay. Little bit of texture. It's real pretty though. Okay, and here is a window sheet. And like I said, I'll put all my um, paper cut sizes on my blog, jillybling.com. So to attach the window sheet, I'm gonna turn over this textured die cut piece of vanilla and put glue definitely around the frame. I don't want it to smush out and be seen through the frame. Okay. And I know it's hard to see a clear window sheet, but the window sheet is cut just a quarter inch smaller, so that's being put on. Okay. Dry. That could just sit there and dry. Now, you know, before I did that, I should have stamped. Let me see if I could pull it off. Okay, don't do what I did. I'm gonna be able to fix that. I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm gonna stamp my words through here, but I don't want this to stick to the navy paper. So we'll do other things for just a minute. Oh, do you ever do things like that? And you're like, oh, I messed up. And when you look at the sample, I wish um, I placed the flowers different because the words, I wish they were more centered. So this time I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna put the flowers a little bit lower. And my little hummer, whenever I open it up, it hits the top. So I wish the hummingbird was down a little bit lower too. So we're gonna do it right this time, but just be aware of that so you don't make the same mistake. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, it's getting there. I will stick this panel all together. And when you're working with gold foil or any foil, see how I'm kind of staying away from the perimeter of the navy? Just because when I put this on here, if I get glue, on the gold that's going to be seen, it kind of makes the gold dull. So if I have glue just on the inside of the navy piece, that's not a problem. Okay, and when you're trying to do, I probably should do the flowers first. I'll do the flowers first. Give that a little more time to dry. So let's get to stamping all of our little elements. 
which is going to be stamped in memento. I'll do a hummingbird. I know I'm kind of all over the place. It's because Tony brought home, he had to take David to um, have his car taken into the shop. And on the way home, David says, hey, thanks for doing that. Dutch is on me, which is coffee. And my favorite coffee happens to have many shots of espresso in it. Guess what they brought home? Yeah. I think there's six shots in there. It's something crazy. Anyhow, I'm, I'm going. I am doing stuff today. A little bit too fast. Getting it done, but a little bit crazy. Okay, so two of these sprigs. One hummingbird, one bunch of flowers, and one little flower. That one, eh. the center didn't come out very good. I'll just have to color hard. Isn't that when we were kids? It's like, you wash, I'll dry. And if ever my sister didn't wash good enough, she goes, just dry really hard. Just dry it. I'll do it next time for you. Just dry hard. Anyhow, just color hard. Okay, so there are dyes for all of these. Don't you love that? Look at that. Only one of these. Which one is better? This one. Cut that. Okay. Look at all those pieces. These are all the elements we need. So, two of these, one of the bunch, one Hummer that we'll color today. We'll color it calmly, not that crazy way. And the inside flower, and then all these little elements. Maybe we could put some of it together now so that I could put the window, so we could do the shaker. Okay, so this is gonna go lower than planned. I just want it about where it should be. Okay. Oh, and this is, looking at the host code, this is Evid Stampers. So, if you ordered the bundle through me between now and February 5th, which is Monday. I would love to send you the three card kits. This is number three. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. But I would love to send you these card kits because if you get the bundle, you can make all of it. So this is number one. And there's the videos already out there for these two. There's this one with a little something on it. Okay, watch this. Isn't that pretty? Aren't those colors beautiful? These are the foil gems. Okay, so that's number one. Boy, I get distracted easy, huh? This is the second one. Oh, and I did it in um, Lemon Lolly, too. And this one... Yeah, I'm distracted. This one, I stamped full strength back here. This one I kind of stamped off, and then I stamped it. And I added the little gold um, festive pearls. When I did the video, I didn't have them on there. Okay, back on task. Anyhow, Avid Stampers. I'd love to send you your own card kits. This, I have it upside down. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna purposely put this a little bit lower. You know what I should do? I should temporarily hold these in place. Hold on. Just a little bit of adhesive. One, two, three. And this is just temporary, temporary hold. There's a reason I'm doing the Navy temporary hold. First time I did it, 
it took four tries. You have four tries to do it. I'll show you that in a minute. Trying to get it in the right place. I kept getting it crooked. Okay. Oh, that's much better. Okay, here we go. So this I'm going to put lower than planned just because now I have room to stamp, hopefully. Maybe I could do it a little bit more at an angle. I should just put this right on here. Okay, see that leaves more room. Okay, so there's that one. This one. Oh, and I want the dimensionals. I, you know what? They can go on the window, the window sheet. But for right now, and I'm doing all this right now just so I know where to position the words. That was, that was the hardest part of it all. Okay, and then the Hummer, after we color them, can go, best case scenario, Right there. That doesn't leave much room for words. Can't go there because it'll sm get smushed. Well, are there smaller words? No. Back to the plan. Maybe that one. Okay, so this Hummer is right there. There it is. Okay, so it's gonna go in Versa Mark. And when you're doing this, don't fret because you can turn the navy paper over because that's why we didn't stick it permanently. And then on the inside, which I tucked in here, there's more navy paper. So if you do a whoops, you have the front and back of this one and the front and back of that one. Not that I've had to use all these things, yeah. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Put in gold embossing powder. So at the last AVID class, so people here in town, we get together and we make our AVID kits together. And um, many of the girls, I gave them their kits in advance and they came in with their gold embossed already. Everyone's gold was just beautiful and really bright. I'm like, what's up with that? They're like, it's stamping up stuff. So I just refreshed all of my powder. I'm hoping it's bright like that. Looks pretty bright. I don't know what happened before. Okay, let's see how this looks. And if it's good, it's warped. If it's good, we are gonna proceed. Proceed. <gasps> That's good. Okay, let's get this stuff stuck down. All these layers. Oh, we could build the shaker card now, too. Kind of got creases there in my gold foil paper. Okay, that's good. This can get stuck down. And then let's build the shaker. 
this project, I had the sample ready last night. It's like I couldn't wake up to wait to wake up to get into here just because I love it. It's it's a little excessive, but it's just really pretty. Okay, those are inside papers. And this is looking good. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, so to do the shaker part, I could pull these off. It's fine. They could stay on. And I'm going to put glue back on this. And that's just going to stick it to the vanilla um, frame. And it's just a little bit smaller, so it will fit right on there and not be seen. And it doesn't have to be straight. Like this side is really close. That side is, it's crooked. But that's okay, it's all hidden. Okay, so now we're gonna do the shaker part. So it's gonna go on here, it's gonna be popped up a little. Ooh, look at the, look at the flowers over here. That wasn't the plan, but, and I know it's gonna go back. No, the bird can't be trying to eat air. Okay, so these strips, these strips. are just long strips, but I have some already cut, but you can use this, cut it to fit. But I have, because I've used them a few times. I'm gonna start with these pieces. And they're like a dimensional. So now you, now you know why I have these pieces. And I'm getting it close to the edge. Um, but not on the edge, only because when it's on the card, from the side you can see it. And on the sample card, I had chunks because I was using these pieces. I mean, you might as well, but you could kind of see the cuts in it. And I don't like that so much. But we'll use these little pieces here in just a minute. But for now, let's get this all the way around the outside edge. And if you can, have it budding right up next to it. Because if you have like the little shaker beads, um, you don't want them escaping um, your wall. We're, we're building a fortress. Let's see if I have some small. So I keep you on getting notified. The porch has detected movement. So earlier I heard Bo out there barking and it's funny, after, after I know him for a while, I know his barks, I know his sounds, I know what they, not what they mean, but kind of like the intent of what they mean. And he was doing a funny bark, like something is not right. And what it is in his dog world is something is very good. Is he's getting a visitor. So coach Todd, the local, well, I guess he's ex-coach, football coach. He was the kid's sports coach. Um, he came over, because you know how we had that big ice storm? He came over and he is cutting, helping Tony with cutting. They're still working on getting stuff cleaned up. But he came over with Minnie, and he was letting Minnie in to the gate, and Bo was standing back because he's got his little... Um, fence thing on and um, Minnie was coming in okay so the shaker card like this is fine but if you think about this you have a shaker card you have pieces in there the pieces are going to go by gravity to the lowest spot and do you really want all of your shaker pieces being down under here where you won't see them no so if you strategically place some of these like as little blockers, we'll keep the shaker pieces where we want them because we don't need shaker pieces up there. We want we want them in view. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. So I'm just doing it at diagonal. Then this one I'm going to do a little bit bigger. So 
but how big? Small pieces. Let's see. That's a good one. Do you remember back in the day the um the barn door bundle? Yeah, I did me a lot of barn doors. But these shaker, these um foam adhesive strips, perfect for that. Okay, so that one's a little bit bigger because I don't need um, shaker pieces way down into there. Okay, so we are done with these strips. Okay, and this is going to go here, but before it goes there, let's put the shaker pieces in. So, take these. Oh, I don't need that open. And take a pinch of them. Put it right in the middle. That's all you need. If you put more in, which I've done before, it becomes like they don't have anywhere to move. Like, look at this one. So. Come on. Um, so right now, you could see them just a little bit down here. And when you do the shaker, you could see them. But before, I've put so much stuff in there that it was halfway up. I think it was like snow. And I was putting glitter in there and all kinds of stuff. You can even see the words. So, just a little bit. Just a little bit so it has shaken on it. And, if possible, turn the pieces over because most of them will, um, they won't turn over further once they're in the shaker card. So Bo and Minnie, they keep on springing the security <laughs> on the front porch and then they're in front of the garage, all the cameras, dun, dun. Okay, I'm gonna turn all these over. Just because when it's shaking, I don't want to see the underside of them. And you know, from playing with the sample card, one of them, one of the small ones did turn over and it's kind of driving me crazy. Not enough to go take it apart and fix it because it would probably turn over again. And there are, what is it? Frosted dots um, as an online exclusive. And those would be great in here too. Or if you have the sequins, those would be nice too. I, there's silver sequins that you can get. That would be nice in here. But this goes with the theme of, I don't know what this theme is, sparkly and golden <laughs> and excessive. Come on, we're almost done. But aren't these little pieces lovely? And they'll go in the center of the flowers too. Oh, the little flowers, the little gold flowers. We're going to curl them up with a chopstick and foam pad. It is like one of my favorite things to do. I haven't done it in a while, but for a while everything was heat embossed and little flowers that are curled up. We'll do that today. But these little pieces, like notice the different sizes. There's large, medium, smaller, medium, and small. These are real small too. Okay, so they're all there. Now, this is going to go over the top. After I remove, I don't want to mess up my cuteness. All of these adhesive strip protector things. Then the trick is to get this on centered on the navy because it's kind of like a one-shot thing. Okay. Okay, here we go. One shot. Good, good 
That's it. Yay! Okay, you ready to try the shaker? Shaker! It's shaking! Yeah! Okay. So, this. Well, that wasn't good. I'll cover it up. I'll cover it up with. So, if ever you have a dimensional, it's been on there for a few minutes. You can pull it up or get most of it up. Oh, and you know, I'm just going to do a few dimensionals because I still need to tuck in all that beautiful gold decorations. Okay, let's color the Hummer, just like this one. <gasps> oh, so I have so many colors. Here we go. You're like, all those colors, that's what people say at class, all those colors just for one thing? Yeah. So, um, this is Seafoam. On the tummy. You know, at this point, I'm just going to put the color in its area. And then, if needed, I'll do blending later. But because this image stamps so dark, like I could see the seam right between there, so I might do a little bit more blending there. This is shaded spruce. I'm looking at the sample here. Shaded spruce light and dark then pretty peacock Pretty Peacock Light. Pretty Peacock Dark. All this for a tummy and the head. I know, it's crazy, but it looks good. We'll be doing more Pretty Peacock in just a minute. Okay, and so for the tummy, let's go to Heather. And Heather, dark. And Orchid. This is one fancy bird. Little hummer. I love hummingbirds. Okay. Orchid dark. You could tell I'm not being real precise with this, but I'm trying to let each of the colors have their own moment to shine. Not doing any blending at this point. Okay, and then Lagoon, just to make it bridge from sea foam to Heather. I'll do light.
and then the peacock on all the way onto the wings and then I'll go back and add a few shadows with the peacock dark but at this point any um, places with no color in them I'm just filling it in it should just be on the wing tips Yeah, that diamond painting. Oh, if you haven't tried it, if you have any interest in it, it's a lot of fun. But every time I do it, I end up getting stuck doing it. And then it's past my bedtime and I've been hunched over for hours because it's like it's addictive. You want to do just a little bit more and it's, it's so sparkly too. I did um, two Halloween. Tony sisters, they love Halloween stuff. So I made them both one and I, I ordered them a little bit big, but it took me a long time to do them. I even put it away after a while, like this is just too much. But then I went back to it just to get it done because it was just sitting there. So now wherever there might be shadows in the peacock, um, wing area. And after this, I'll look at it and see where it's obviously colored, like right up through here. And that could use a little bit more blending. So that's orchid. And then down here, that's too much of a color change, even though it's the same color, just a little bit of blending. The tummy looks pretty good. I'm going to get some of the orchid drifting down into the, the tail. Okay. I think his nose, it gets a little color. How about peacock dark? Just so it's kind of closer to maybe a gray, just a dark, just so it's not white. Okay, there is my colorful Hummer. A little crazy. Okay, and then the flower. Oh, that's going to be a piece of cake now. So, daffodil for the center. When I was coloring the flower, I wanted it just petal pink. But that was too faint, so I added in coral. Oh, this is Cajun. Well, that's what I have there. I planned on doing coral. Oops. Looks okay. But just a little bit so it looks like petal pink. Um, like just a darker hue than petal pink. Because petal pink is a little bit too washed out. I wanted all the attention to go to the bird. But need some flowers and I think they like bright colored flowers but petal pink dark and I'm purposely going over that Cajun dark just to soften it up a little bit then pink light and that goes all the way out to the edges on the petals and some of these little background petals I'll color them just a hint like a swish of color on them And then the petals are going to be Lost Lagoon. When I was coloring these little leaves, I colored them Peacock. And the big leaves, I colored Lagoon. So Lagoon light everywhere. Okay. 
Then Lagoon, just in the areas that Stampin' Up! kindly put shadows so they know where to do it. Go along the whole flower edge. And then center, wherever Stampin' Up! put shadows, that's where I'm putting shadows. Thank you, Stampin' Up! Okay, we're done coloring. Now it's time for decorating and putting it together. Okay, all these pieces go on. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so ribbon, let's do the ribbon. We'll use that tear tape. The ribbon is Pretty Peacock. This is in the catalog. Kind of new, but look how soft it is. Can you tell how soft that is? This is called Metallic Ribbon Pretty Peacock. So we're gonna take that Shaker card, shake it. Oh, look at that little one is about to turn over. Go, go that way. Oh, see the little ones. Okay, and this is just gonna go into a knot. I was about to put a bow on it and it's like, <laughs> I've got enough going on here. Okay, just a little bit into a knot. It's almost see-through, you can almost see through it. Try it right in the middle, but if it isn't in, in the middle, I can always scooch it. Then I'm going to put a glue dot under the knot just to hold it right in place and then trim the ends. Okay, there's that. And I think you could scooch a little bit this way. Okay, and then a glue dot. I'm going to fold it over just because I want it a little bit smaller. Okay, you stay right in place. Okay, and then trim the ends. Okay, and the hummingbird, this flower goes on the inside. The hummingbird goes, see, that's better placement. That's just better. So that can go on with dimensionals. I don't know what I have there. I have to put something gold over that. Hmm? So, at this point, I'll put on two dimensionals, and I'm going to put more dimensionals on everything after I get it all set. I don't want it to hit the top. There it goes. And the dimensionals are right here, so they are on the plastic that's okay. Okay, time for sparkling it up. That's inside. Inside gets this one, this one, that one, and three flowers. Everything except the big flower. Those all go on the outside. Okay, so each of these have one dimensional on them, maybe two. So now I'm going to put on my gilding, my gold. Okay, so tell me, have you ever got up, got ready, and you put on a pair of earrings? It's like, oh, okay, those are good. And then you put on a necklace. Then you put on a scarf. And sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? I am. I, it's like I'm getting decorated. This card, it's 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 time to get decorated. It's over decorated. Yeah. Decorating. It's like a piece of jewelry. Oh, moving the um, flower down lower. Doesn't leave much room for that. Probably could find a different place for it, but it's okay. Okay, now this one here is just kind of wrong, but it's part of the plan. And it's wrong because pretty, pretty. It's going to go right there. Just like that. Just, just go with it. Now, this little one. I might put glue just on the bottom bits because I'm fine if it kind of pops up just because it's so pretty. This one could go 
right in the middle of everything. Right there. Okay, let's do little flowers. Foam pad, little flowers. And a chopstick. This chopstick I have had forever. This chopstick has writing on it from Kelly and Courtney and it's decorated. It's like you could tell it's been loved. Okay, foam pad, curl them little things up. I should do the other ones while I'm at it too. Bo is barking about something. There it is, cute, cute, cute. Okay, so now where to put them? This looks a little bit white, naked, vanilla. One there, one here, and right in the middle. This, it's not connected very good, or there's kind of, I'm gonna fill that gap. Okay, I was gonna put gold over that smudge, Oil. I'm going to let those dry. Okay, so each of these little cups, cup flowers, are going to get a tiny little bling in them. These two. So Bo and Minnie, they're out there running and playing. Minnie is a um, another hound dog. Bo is white with brown and black spots. And Minnie is black with kind of like Doberman looking color markings on her. But she's, she's another coon hound too. So it's good that they're out there playing and running and barking at each other. Okay, I'm choosing the little ones and the almost little ones. Okay. I really like these. And in the pictures that I put on my blog, you'll be able to see all that close up. Okay, I think we're done with champagne iridescent dots. Okay, that's gonna go on the inside. And I know the inside probably shouldn't have all that 3D stuff, but you know. Okay, at least a dimensional, additional dimensional on everything. Oh, I need I need a um, a dot on here. This one can have a big one. Okay, back to dimensionaling everything. Everything. Ooh, the gold. Maybe I could get the gold. Okay. Come back to that one. So maybe this gold can go up over the top. Yeah. Just because it's so pretty. Good, good. It's okay to put dimensionals on the window sheet. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, maybe, oh, more under the, the Hummer. 
a little bit up there. I'm going to use a little one just because the wings are getting a little narrow. Okay, so that's good. Okay, what do you think? Yep, over decorated. Okay, so for the inside, the inside is kind of easy. So there's all these layers. Oh, we haven't connected it. I'm gonna let that dry a bit and then we'll connect it. So for the inside, it is no words, but just, how can I hold that up? There, can you see it? Right here. Okay, so start out with the flower with just one dimensional. That's gonna go here. And then put the gold on. Kind of wrapping up around there. And it's okay for it to go over the edge here because you've got all these layers of thickness so that won't be hanging out the side of the card. It'll still be inside the card. I like these leaves. Okay, and then the little flowers. So there's kind of a hole right there. So how about two of them there? Yeah, same as that one, that's fine. That one, because it's so close, I think I'm going to miss the glue. So, put more glue on it. Okay. That's looking good. Dry. They're gonna get smushed. When the card gets closed, they're not gonna be all curled up anymore. That's just how it is. Okay, so a few more dimensionals on the back side of the flower. So while that dries, I'll stick down these layers. Navy. Who would have thrown navy, knight of navy, and pretty peacock together? It's like those colors are too close. You just can't put them together. But turned out kind of pretty here. And then we'll stick the top of it together and then we're set. So have you done a shaker card before? Let me know in the comments. Oop, I did that a little crooked, but it's okay. Okay, so to close it, I'm gonna use tear tape just because I want something super strong. I could use my Stampin' Seal, which is plenty strong, but I think tear tape might be just a little bit more strong. Okay. 
and it's convenient. It's easy to use. And if you happen to have a piece that I purposely made that too long, have the extra long bit go right to here because it's going to fold right over the top. And right up to the edge. Okay, so this is the third project using Thoughtful Expressions. If you have any questions about Avid Stampers or getting the card kits, reach out or send a comment or email. And you get free stuff too, because it's over $50. You get to choose something for free from Celebration. Okay, there it is. And that is today's project, a shaker card. Okay, thanks for watching. If you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. Okay, have a great day.